welcome back it is no eyelash monday i decided not to wear any eyelashes today i put about 26 coats of mascara on my eyes today um yeah and i still don't think you guys can see my eyelashes that's how tiny they are but I digress so today I'm gonna to be doing a small product review for you guys and also an application to show you guys how I use the product the product is the Ben 9 luxury powder in camel and this product was sent to me by makeup showroom which is like an online makeup store where you can go and purchase makeup and other things I know people are always wondering where they can buy the Ben 9 powders and I know I've had trouble finding a place or a store close to me that sells it um, I think if you don't live in bigger areas like LA and New York and bigger cities like that sometimes it can be a little hard to get your hands on the Ben 9 products powders whatever so um, they do sell Ben 9 powders on that site so definitely check them out and get your Ben 9 powders from there I think they retail for about $7.99 if I'm not mistaken I will also have that information down below now originally they wanted to send me the banana powder but I was, I'm not really a fan of the banana powder. I feel it is too yellow for me. I don't think it's for every skin tone. So for my skin tone, I have a lot more red on the outside and then I'm a lot more yellow in my T-zones. So I wanted a powder that wasn't too yellow and that wasn't too red and I thought the camo was perfect for that. So that's why I chose to do my review on the camo powder. And I actually really love the powder. I have been wearing that in a lot of my videos and if you follow me on Instagram then you've seen pictures of me applying the powder on my face um, so yeah today I'm gonna show you guys how I apply the powder so let me just talk a little bit about how I like it okay so I've never actually tried the banana powder so I can't really compare it but since it's made by the same person I'm thinking it's the same consistency it's a very very fine milled powder it's it goes on so smooth the way that I like to use it is I set my concealer with it to kind of give me a highlight and what I really like about this is that you don't really need a like a lighter color concealer for this to just give you a highlight if you don't have a lighter color concealer you can just use your regular concealer that you use every day like your skin tone concealer and apply that and if you're going out for a night out or something and you want a great highlight like your cheeks highlighted you know your under eye highlighted the bridge of your nose and everything you can just apply this over your regular skin tone concealer and it gives you a great highlight now I like to go um, with a little bit of a lighter concealer because I really I really really love that highlighted look so that's really how I use it I think it's a great powder it shows up wonderfully on pictures um, a lot of the powders that I've used to set my concealer I've had to be careful especially the highlighting ones because every time I try to take a picture I do the flash and it just shows up like white on my face so this doesn't do that so um yeah if you're going for the holidays and going to holiday parties this would be a great thing to use because you know you took a lot of pictures at holiday parties and you're not you don't have to worry about this um like showing up uh, on camera or anything so i really really like this product haven't found anything bad about it it's a great product and um yeah so let's get right into the application stage and don't forget to check out makeup showroom to see um to purchase your ben 9 powders all right guys bye hello there so at this point i've already done my eye makeup my eyebrows and my foundation i am going to take a skin tone concealer and the one that i am using is by milani and um, I will have the color down below because I can't remember what the color is. I will have the color of this concealer down below. Now, I just want to cancel out my dark circles with this. And it just is a skin tone concealer and it just glides on very smooth. And you can either blend this out with your hands or blend it out with a brush. But I prefer to blend it out with a brush. It is a little bit easier to do it that way for me. So now I'm going to apply my lighter concealer. I am going to be using MAC Select Cover Up in NW40. And I'm just going to make a little V underneath my eyes and blend that really well with my brush. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Again, you can use your finger to blend this out, but I like to use a fluffy brush. I feel like it gives me more of a flawless airbrush look, if that makes any sense. All right, it's powder time. So I am going to take my powder in a camel and a small beauty sponge, and I am just going to carefully press that 
on top of the concealer, making sure that I really get underneath my eyes to keep my concealer from creasing because I have a lot of fine lines underneath my eyes. I'm gonna also put it on the bridge of my nose and everywhere else where I apply the concealer. And I'm also gonna put some on my chin, although I didn't apply concealer there, I just wanna give my chin a bit of a highlight. Now I'm gonna take this opportunity to contour my face. And the reason why I do this with the powder still on is because it kind of gives me a guideline as to where I wanna put my contour powder. And I just leave the powder there to kind of guide me as to, to not put the contour powder. I'm just gonna brush all of the excess powder off and uh, brush it as finely as I can. And uh, yeah, that should be it. And I'm also gonna use a highlight to make my under eye stand out further. I'm, a, I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of highlight on my cupid's bow. And I'm also gonna apply my MAC Skin Finish in deep dark all over my face to get rid of some of that yellowy ashy look. And that's all you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.